It may be hard to imagine conditions so terrible Central American children would risk their lives to come to the U.S., but a Tucson area pastor has seen them with his own eyes and felt them in his heart. As Kagan Not In Your Side, Craig Smith reports, they drive him to do what he can in Honduras, the most dangerous country on earth. Even children are so desperate to escape Honduras, some will risk a ride through Mexico on a train so dangerous, riders call it the train of death because so many die just trying to climb on. There are people that are told that they can um, come to the United States or Mexico or whatever and have a great life. Uh, th they are so impoverished that they're going to take you up on it. This is Esther. Pastor Ron York keeps her picture on his wall to remind him of the children he helps at the Open Door Orphanage in northern Honduras. Pastor York does not know the details, but he knows Esther has made it to her mother in New York. Knowing kids in Honduras are sexually abused and abandoned has sent Pastor York on mission after mission to that orphanage. We try to feed these kids one hot meal a day for five days a week. There's two days where they don't get anything, and they literally have to eat dirt in order to relieve the pain in their stomachs. The orphanage offers education, clothing, medicine, and a safe place for girls as young as 10 to have their babies. But Honduras is a world of corruption and crime where almost no one is safe. We asked Pastor York if he ever asked himself, what am I doing? You know, I don't, um, only because I really feel I've been called by God to do this. Uh, for me not to do that uh, would be holding him in contempt. If this was something I orchestrated, absolutely, I'd be scared to death. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.